Hello and welcome to Planted Nutrition. My name is Luke, I'm a nutritionist. And today we're talking all about optimal hydration. And why should you care about hydration if it's just water that we drink? Well, maybe you're aware that our bodies are 60 to 70% water. Hydration is incredibly important for our brain functioning, getting everything working properly. It's also potentially important for mental health. And there's even some studies that have shown that people that were dehydrated had higher levels of anxiety. And if you're interested in gut health, water is also incredibly important for our gut health, keeping everything moving well and supporting the health of our microbiome. Water is incredibly important for our health and that's why in this video I'm giving you the key guidelines on ensuring optimum hydration. Because the crazy thing is, water is so important but a lot of us just aren't aware of how to properly hydrate ourselves. So the most common question that I get asked as a nutritionist is how much water should I drink daily? And if you look online there's lots of different answers to this, have drinking a certain amount of glasses of water per day. But the thing is, there's so many different factors that can influence how much water that we need, whether that's our size, our weight, our activity level, whether we're sitting at home on the couch or we're out running ultra marathons, obviously we're gonna need a different amount of water. If it's summer and we're sweating a lot, if it's winter and we're cold and indoors, However, generally it's recommended to have between about two to three, maybe a bit more liters per day. But stick around to a bit later in the video where I share the best way to figure out if you're hydrated or getting enough water. And so another thing I get asked about is, it's called drinking to thirst. So if I'm thirsty and I drink water, that means I'm hydrated, right? Well, the thing is, this is kind of a good way. It's better than nothing. If we're thirsty, at least if we're drinking water, we're getting some hydration. But research has shown that it's not necessarily a great way to ensure optimal hydration. So we can be at an okay level of hydration, but we're not gonna be functioning optimally. And that's what this video is all about. So the best way to measure your hydration level it's looking at the color of your urine. Yes, that is the tip. When you go to the bathroom and you go and pee, look at the color of your urine. I'll put up a little chart here to help you understand the colors, but basically kind of a pale yellow, light yellow color means you're probably adequately hydrated. But if it's getting much darker than that, it's generally a sign we're not optimally hydrating. And if we aren't even going to the bathroom at all, then we definitely need to be drinking more water. And we also wanna be aiming to consistently intake water throughout the day. So we're not like, oh my God, my urine's super dark. Let's go and drink heaps of water. And I don't know if you've ever experienced this when you drink a lot of water, but it can make you pee a lot and it's very clear. And this is also a sign our body isn't even necessarily able to take in this water as well. If we take too much, it can pass straight through us. And this is where the role of electrolytes come in. So you may have heard of electrolytes in things like sports drinks, but electrolytes are minerals like sodium, potassium, and magnesium that our bodies need. They also help our body to absorb water. And I'm not gonna get super deep into the science of this here, but it is really interesting. It's to do with osmosis, if you remember that from science class. But basically having an optimum concentration of electrolytes in our water helps our body to absorb it better. And if you wanna make your own electrolyte drink at home, I'm gonna link a recipe down in the description. I've put it up on my website. This is a really simple recipe you can make at home. It doesn't have any artificial sweeteners or colors or anything like the ones that you might buy at a store, like a sports drink. Even though they can be great when you are doing sport, it's also nice just to have something that you can make at home when you need it. And so these are the guidelines for the general population. What if I'm an active person? I'm a sporty person. I'm an athlete perhaps. While well, you're probably gonna be needing more water, it depends on the activity you're doing, how much you're sweating. The guideline I talked about before can also be a helpful guide, paying attention to your urine. And if you are sweating a lot, it's especially important to be taking in an electrolyte drink because that's gonna help to hydrate you properly. You can buy one or you could try the recipe that I've linked in the description as well. If we're at home, we probably just can drink normal water. You don't necessarily need to be adding electrolytes to it. But 
adding a small pinch of salt, for example, can be helpful. You want to go about one eighth of a teaspoon per 500 mils of water. We don't want too much salt as well because too much can cause bloating and draw too much moisture into our digestive tract. So it's all about finding a balance here. But to put it all together, hydration is incredibly important for our mental health, our cognitive function, our energy levels, our gut health, even things like blood pressure, cardiac function, but it's not complicated. If you don't drink water, even just starting to become aware of it, doing things like watching this video, it's going to be taking the first step towards optimum hydration. We talked about water in this video, but if you don't like drinking water, you could try things like herbal teas. If it's winter, you could do stuff like a warm veggie broth, for example. But it's really just about getting back in touch with your body, observing your body's natural signals, like the color of your urine, as we've talked about and from there making informed choices whether we need more water or not. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. And again, check out that link in the description for a homemade electrolyte drink recipe. If you need more support with your nutrition, check out the link in the description as well. I offer online nutrition consultations and I'd love to support you if that's something you need help with. I've been Luke from Planted Nutrition. If you can drop a like if you like this video, that really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more from me. See you in the next video and until then, stay healthy my friends.